Hey, great to see you all again. How are you guys are doing? Wow, that's very nice jacket. Did you get it on eBay? Wow, send me the link after this, okay? Wow, I barely work out this age, you know. I've been doing the same workout since 2009. A couple of squats, push up, and my head starts spinning, and I get the hell out of the gym. What do you think is the most boring type of workouts? I still don't understand why people love running so much. My friends are very much into running and they say things like, I'm addicted to running, which I cannot wrap my head around. I'm so addicted to not running. I can't stop, stop running. The whole time I was running, all I was thinking is, you know, when does this addiction kick in? You know, most things addictive takes action rather quickly, right? But running seems to be a, a little bit of an outlier, don't you agree? But running is huge, you know, there's stall for runners, there are magazines dedicated to running, runner's war is all about running. And if you think running is boring, wait until you read about running, you know? And runners high, I'm sure that's a myth. Let me get this right. Are you confusing between exhaustion for high? Have you ever been high before? How can you confuse? I can breathe with joy. Like, I think we should give ourselves the best chance to be joyful and happy, right? I feel like the society as a whole, we should be uh, better off if we all were down to accept skipping as an equal alternative to running. You know, like, that would be better work, right? Like, how many miles do you have to run in order to have a runner's high? You know, give me the number, like, 10, 15, 20. Nobody knows too damn many, right? If you start skipping right now, if you start feeling good, you're looking good, you're moving fast. It, it's efficient, man. Like, I had a drink at the bar down the street um, before the show. It's about 10 minutes walk. Nine minutes skipped. I got here early, baby. <laughs> well, honestly, the last time I ran was like 10 years ago, back in the school time, and I used to have all this unused energy. And you know, I made a record. It was like six miles over the course of one hour. Wait, oh, actually, it's two hours if you can't stop for hot dog along the way. How impressive. I'm so proud of it. Considering if you work out the speed, it was just a little bit faster than walking. And that's what it is. That was the last time I did a serious run. And ever since I moved from running to skipping, dancing, to walking, and now I'm just standing, you know. What do you do today at the gym, Huyen? I stood for half an hour, and that was tough. I shaped my body a little bit and this and this and I'm so tired my back start hurting and I probably have to lean tomorrow I ain't sweat through my clothes either those days are so gone you know I come in and out of the gym looking the same dry and cool and actually I see move from running to golfing I know you think that's an old people's sport I realized that I have no chance in competing in any type of running around sport. So you see my record, my epic record 10 years ago. So I had better moving on to golf early so I can start a chance competing with the elderly. People say running is the best way to lose fat. Well, we're doing the best we can, right? So what? We are all fat, you know? Everybody is fat. You are either really fat, kind of fat, or try not to be fat. Either way, fat is coming. I hope you enjoy the show tonight, and bye for now.